Salut tout le monde, Christine L here, and today we're doing a haul. What's the difference between a haul and an unboxing? Well, a haul generally means that I went into a store and picked things out myself, I browsed and whatnot. So to me, a haul involves a brick and mortar store. It involves, in this case, supporting my local crafting and scrapbooking store. So, um, I took a trip with some of my favorite people to a local store. And by took a trip, I mean that they came all the way from Sherbrooke to Montreal and I drove about 15 minutes to up the street. <laughs> so I live really close to my local scrapbook store. It's, it's good for my hobby, bad for my wallet, but I'm always happy to support my local scrapbooking store. It's nice and easy that it's up close. So there's going to be a mix of stuff today. I am both a scrapbooker. Uh, I do, you know, mini albums as well. I do, um, what's the word? Yeah, card making. So I'm also a card maker. So paper crafting, stickers, all of that stuff, um, ephemera, stamps, dies. These are all in my, in my wheelhouse. That's my hobby. So it, it's part of what I do. So I thought I'd share that as well. It's another craft that I do. So let's just stop talking and, and find out what I bought. So the first thing I pull out is gorgeous glittery uh, mermaid paper. Okay, people who aren't into mermaids are like, it doesn't have to be a mermaid, it could just be scales. Maybe it's a dragon, it's like a pastel dragon. It's fine, call it what you want. So, the camera will not do the colors justice. These are very gorgeous blues uh, and greens. They're coming up a little bluer, a little darker on camera. And at the same time, you can see that it's got that glitter in the back. Apologies for the glare, it is covered in plastic. It is a fairly hefty cardstock. I'm going to maybe actually open it and see if it's glossy. It is not. So I can feel, oh, looks like we got a piece. I don't know if I pulled that off or what, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Um, so yeah, so it does have a glitter texture, but it's very, very fine. So you could tell that the glitter used was fine. It's not chunky at all. You should have no problem running this through your die cut machine and no residual glitter on my hands it's not coming off you're safe uh, so this one is more pastel shades so much lighter colors but you've got that same overall glitter in the scales so super cool now these are from american cardstock excuse me american crafts cardstock they call it specialty and just glitter i don't know if there's any other special name but at least you've got their um stock code if you like it so yeah these are really cute i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with it yet i don't know if it's a background but i think die cutting you know a mermaid's tail out of this stuff will be amazing so from mama elephant i've got a letter board so this reminds me of, I like that, first of all, that they put the two legs because it can be a standing board as well. So essentially, you've got all of the letters and the numbers as well as some characters um, and a cute little heart to do a letter board, the old school pin letters, right? Love this. I love, love, love this idea. Uh, Mama Elephant is really creative with their dies. Um, I really enjoy supporting them. They do good stuff. No preview images on the back, unfortunately, but this is the Mama Elephant letter board. Be great to do like happy birthday signs, or if you know someone who's got a shop, you can do a sale for their shop and say congrats if they made, you know, reached a milestone of sales on Etsy or something. So really cool. I, I thought I had another Mama Elephant, so I had to go digging. I was sure I had another Mama Elephant, so I went digging around and made sure I'd grab that one next. So this is from a, well, th this is a standalone die, but there is a stamp set that will coordinate well, that has critters on it that are drinking boba, uh, boba tea. So this, in essence, is the boba cup. But what I absolutely love about this is obviously it doesn't have to just be for boba tea. If you're a Frappuccino or Starbucks fan, this will work too. So what I like is you've got the different lids, right? So you've got the lone domed lid, you've got the standard coffee lid, and you've got a nice kitty shaped one that includes 
the facial features. So you can do the, the little nose and eyes. Uh, it also comes with the whipped cream. Now these lines inside, they will emboss, not cut. So you'll have that nice whipped sort of swirl in there. Uh, happy face even for the cups. And these little bits, as well as this frame here, creates a shaker shape. So you can cut that out, put it on top of this, fill it in with the little bits, and then you've got yourself a nice shaker card as well. So I like this because it's great for any coffee, any drink. So Doodlebug Designs is one of my absolute favorite companies. They have the absolute cutest stuff. Everything always has cute little smileys on it. Um, as well, they tend to run collections that go together. So they keep the same running colors and uh, um, little banum. Yeah, so you can see on the back, I don't know, there's little people on this one, so it's mostly food. But basically, if you have the um, doodlebug design, like they're, they're so punny collection and the punny food ones, these will probably go really well because it looks to me like they're in the same color scheme. Their Christmas stuff is almost always in the same color scheme. So you can mix multiple years together. If you have odds and ends left over from three years ago in their Christmas collection, I can almost guarantee you'll be able to use those bits and pieces in this year's Christmas collection. Same thing with Halloween. So I love that about them. It's not as if this collection stands alone and when I'm done and I have a few stickers left, I'll never use them. Nope, if you're a fan of Doodlebug, the next collection that comes out, add these to them. They'll go together and they'll work, yeah. So I don't have the paper for this collection yet. Um, it's called Barbie Cute, so it's all, you know, food stuff, summer related, in bright primary colors. Um, Natalie or Scrapbook Central did not have the paper pad yet. It's still on its way. So I will grab that when it comes in, not to worry. This little piece is from All In Create, featuring art by Janet Klein. It's called The Stand. I absolutely love this, and I'm so so happy that they wear the lemon or that they made the word lemonade separate from the actual sign. That way, you can make this as any kind of like lemonade or garage sale or just something cute to you know a rusty shop, uh, a rustic shop, not a rusty one. Please don't give your customers tetanus. So. Very cute, free advice, very neat. So I like this one. I have other stamps. Oops, sorry about that. I have other stamps from uh, uh, All In Create featuring Janet Klein. I love Janet Klein's art. I followed her on Instagram, uh, Vera Lane Studio, for the longest time before she um, got the absolute honor of having physical stamps because before that they were all digital. So last but certainly not least is Lawn Fawn. So I'm a big fan of theirs. These are all dies. Uh, some of these are add-ons to things I already have. But as a little bonus this time, I went ahead and got a couple of their pins. So you can see the unicorn even sparkles. It's got some glitter. So I'm an enamel pin collector. I even have a purse that, that shows off my pins. Let me show it off to you. So this is actually my current purse. I've downgraded to a small one now that I'm not going to work and carrying a laptop everywhere. So the, the bag itself is from Sugar Bones. It's a crossbody bag and this zippers. You put a pad in with all your, your pins. So these are going to be added to this for sure. They're absolutely adorable and oh my god the unicorn sparkles. So the next die I got was the castle die so it's called build a castle again by lawn fawn and you've got all of the pieces here to paper piece it together i love that you have the edging you've got the tower the window super cool so the idea is you paper piece it together um, to create a castle now they've got a nice fairy or dragon and fairy look to it obviously your castle can be anything i I wouldn't be surprised if you use parts of these as well and create something even different. Um, I'm quite curious about turning it into a sand castle. I think that would be a really interesting look. Uh, so these two pieces here are actually add-on dies to Lawn Fawn's Magic Iris. Now the Magic Iris is an interactive die where you pull a tab and it actually opens up like the aperture of a camera. So the original was just, you know, the opening itself and you could turn it into whatever you've wanted. Um, but they've created these add-ons where now the front of that interactive card can look exactly like a camera. 
So you've got all of the pieces with their standard stitched look all the way around. And this will create a little Polaroid look as well as um, the lens of the camera. So there's actually a pull tab on this as well because this can be turned into an, an interactive portion where the photo will pop out of the top of the camera. So again, paper piecing, you've got to work it all together either you know on white paper that you've um, colored, colored or ink blended on or put it on colored cardstock and piece it all together but that will create um, the camera. There should be stuff on the side. Yeah, it's the same image. So basically this is the camera base. Uh, um, no, it isn't the same. Okay, and then that's what happens. You pull this down and it will open the iris in the middle and you have your little image on the inside. With this add-on, what it'll do is create an opening where you're gonna pull that and a little Polaroid will pop out. So you close the lens. You can either make it look like a lens cap or the glass on the lens itself, and then pull the picture out. And that's like, it's actually printing it out like a, an Instax or a Polaroid. Super cool. So that's it. That's my haul from Scrapbook Central in uh, Montreal. Um, if you can support your local scrapbooking store, there used to be so many at the height of the scrapbooking area, era, excuse me, but they, they, you know, as that dropped, as the trend dropped, um, you know, lots of stores disappeared. And again, with the pandemic and a lot of stores having to be closed, please, now that they are open again, go support them. Go help them out. Um, they're part of your community, right? So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. À la prochaine.